Students, once again welcome you all in my YouTube channel Pacific Chemistry Classes. Students, today we are going to study the reagent DCC. The full form of DCC is dicyclohexyl carbodiamide. So sometimes we are uh, just to seeing it as DCC or it we can call it as N and dash dicyclohexyl carbodiamide. So this is very important organic compound with the chemical formula C6H11 and hold twice C. So we know that why it is dicyclohexyl because there are two cyclohexyl rings and they are bonded with the imide group. So NCN, so we can say that it is a, a very important organic reagent and it helps in the synthesis of many organic compounds. It is generally white waxy solid and it has a sweet order and other physical constant like low, it is a low melting point like 30 to 30 degrees centigrade and its boiling point ranges from 122 to 124. So what are the main uses of this reagent? It is mostly used as a dehydrating agent. It is acting as a, used as in peptide synthesis and also it helps in the synthesis of the lactam ring in the penicillin. So I hope structure is simple. They are having the two cyclohexyl ring and the our carbide emit formula. So what? Uh, let us see how we can prepare this carbox di. Let us see the preparation methods of our DCC. So students, its name is dicyclohexyl carbodiamide. So we know that there are two cyclohexyl group. So I hope you all remember. We know that cyclohexane is C. 6H12 because there is CH2, CH2, CH2 everywhere and benzene it is C6H6. If we remove one of the hydrogen it will be our C6H11. So this is cyclohexyl. So dicyclohexyl carbodiamide for the preparation of this compound we need the oxidation of N and dash dicyclohexyl thiourea by mercuric oxide. So uh, how we will write the thiourea? We know that whenever sulfur is present we are using the thio word. So as we know that what is the formula of urea? It is NH2CO NH2. So if we see that this oxygen is removed and if we will write here double bond S. So what it will be? It will be our thiourea. Okay, so what we have to write? We have to take dicyclohexyl thiourea. So I hope the formula you can learn. So NH2, we will remove one hydrogen, add C6H11, C6H11. So this is two cyclohexyl group are added in your thiourea. In the presence of mercuric oxide, it will undergo oxidation. So what will happen here? Your uh, mercuric oxide will get converted to your mercuric sulfide. So this sulfur is removed here. And what we will form, we will prepare our DCC that is our dicyclohexyl carbodiamide is prepared by this method. So let us see the second method. It is the dehydration of dicyclohexyl urea. Now in place of oxygen, sorry sulfur, if we will write oxygen, so what it will be? It will be our urea. So C6H11NHCONH2. You should know the formula of urea NH2CONH2. So by removing 1H at C6H11 by removing 1H at C6H11. So in the presence of your para toluene sulfonyl chloride and in the hot pyridine it will get converted to your DCC. So these are the two simple preparation methods of our DCC. Now let us see what are the main application or the uses of our DCC. So what are the main applications? So first is the preparation of diacyl derivatives and we can also synthesize the uh, derivative of diacyl means we can synthesize the peroxides here. So just we can see that we have our benzoyl, uh, benzoic acids that is C6H5COOH with the help of peroxide. What is the formula? H2O2. In the presence of our DCC in the, that is our dicyclohexyl carbodiamide what we will get? We will get our dibenzoxy peroxide means C6H5COO OCO C6H5. So what we have to do? So see OH we will remove from here H from here. There are two hydrogens now. So one H2O and similarly OH and this one hydrogen. So we will lose two molecules of water here and our di Ox, uh, type and oxy peroxide will form. We know that what is the uh, structure of our peroxide that is our HOH. So we will remove these hydrogens and these oxygens will get attached with our carbon. So it will be peroxide structure and it is the formation of the dibenzoxyl peroxide and DCC and the water molecule will be eliminated here. Now let us see the second application of our DCC. 
तो सेकेंड इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एरल एल्किल ईथर सो वी नो दैट एरल एल्किल ईथर मीन्स वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर द ईथर सो ईथर आर मोस्टली प्रिपेयर बाय द डिहाइड्रेशन ऑफ एल्कोहल्स और द फिनॉल सो वॉट वी कैन डू अगेन इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल जस्ट वी कैन रिमूव द वॉटर एच टू ओ एंड वॉट यू विल हैव पी एच ओ एच सॉरी पी एच ओ सी टू एच फाइव सो और वी कैन जस्ट राइट इट इन दिस मैनर सी सिक्स एच फाइव ओ एच प्लस सी टू एच फाइव ओ एच सो वॉट यू विल गेट यू कैन ईजिली रिमूव द वॉटर एंड क्या फॉर्म हो जाएगा आपका सी सिक्स एच फाइव ओ सी टू एच फाइव सो वी विल गेट अवर फिनाइल इथाइल ईथर इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल थर्ड एप्लीकेशन इज द एस्ट्रीफिकेशन अगेन इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल रिएक्शन एस्ट्रीफिकेशन इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ईस्टर सो वी हैव फंक्शन रूप वॉट इज द फंक्शन रूप ऑफ ईस्टर आर सी डबल ओ आर है ना सो वॉट वी विल गेट टेक एनी एसिड एंड वन एल्कोहल सिंपल and just we have to treat them in the presence of dcc so you will get a desired ester so we can take one example again here so we can take ch3 c double o h plus any alcohol so we can take like c2h5 oh so what we have to do we can just remove the water molecule and what it uh, it will be form like ch3 c double o c2h5 so it forms our सिंपल ईस्टर दैट इज अवर इथाइल एसिटेट ओके नेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एमाइड सो स्टूडेंट्स वी नो वॉट इज द बेसिक फॉर्मूला फॉर द एमाइड ग्रुप एमाइड ग्रुप इज अवर एन एच टू सी ओ ओके सो और वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द पैप्टाइड वी हैव सी ओ एन एच ओके सो फर्स्ट टू प्रिपेयर दिस वी नीड अवर अमीन एंड एसिड सो वॉट वी हैव टू डू जस्ट वी कैन रिमूव वन वाटर मॉलिक्यूल सो वी कैन टेक वन हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम हेयर ओ एच फ्रॉम हेयर सो वॉट यू कैन गेट आर एन एच एंड सी ओ आर फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट एसिड पार्ट सो यू विल हैव द एम आई प्रिपरेशन एंड द मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ डी सी एंड वाटर विल बी बाय प्रोडक्ट ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एन हाइड्राइड ऑल दीज आर मोस्टली योर एसिड डेरीवेटिव सो आई होप When we are preparing any anhydride, just we have to heat them, dehydrate करना है ना acid को So just take two molecules of any acid, remove the water molecule in the presence of DCC. So what you will get? Your desired anhydride. If it is acetic anhydride, acetic acid, you will get acetic anhydride. If it is your propanoic acid, you will get your propanoic anhydride. So this reaction is also very easy. Next is the polymerization of nucleotides. and uh, this is uh, done by the khurana scientists and they used it as a condensing reagent means what they have done so they have taken so many number of nucleotides and they converted to the polymer unit of many nucleotides so this reaction is very helpful when we talk about the synthesis of the proteins and other things next important application is the lactonization of gamma hydroxy acid so we know that in our uh, means generally what is lactone group so when uh, we know that cyclization hota hai na aapka so when this group if we have taken any gamma hydroxy acid so what we will do just if we use the reagent our dcc in the presence of pyridine what will get converted this cwh and this beta hydroxy acid so when we are talking about any gamma hydroxide means hydroxy group will also be there and their acid group also be there so what we have to do just remove one hydrogen and one oh so elimination of the water it you will get one your lactone ring so this ring is known as our lactone ring so these are the some important application of our dcc so i hope you like this video share with your friends and if you have not subscribe my channel do share thanks for watching